Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've made a video, but I figured I'd do one for this because I just received it a few days ago and it's uh, it's unique. It's the Atari um, Super Pocket from Hyper Megatech. This is a limited edition and it has 50 Atari games in there spanning from arcade, 5200, 2600, 7800, and even Atari Lynx. And that's kind of the main reason why I even bought this system is because it, you know, it was the first device that I've seen that actually offers Atari Lynx in it. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, the other reason was because of the wood grain uh, aesthetic to it. The, um, that's what makes it a limited edition is basically it's uh, the colorway or you know the, the design of it. And it actually makes more sense. This design actually made more sense to me than what's coming out. Um, I think it's a red and black uh, device. I didn't really like the color scheme. It's the same system inside, internally, in the games. All that's the same. The only thing that's different is is the uh, aesthetics, right? And that actually made more sense to me to get this one. So I went ahead and, and got myself this limited edition. Um, but opening it up, one of the things that always strikes me with these devices, um, these, uh, these pocket devices here from them, is that it doesn't have any kind of like a screen protector. Like the I just opened it up, and that's the way it came. It didn't have like a little film to peel off or anything like that, and uh, that always bothers me. But I really enjoyed the uh, the 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 color um, design in the back, like the black and orange is cool. I, I you know it looks cool. It has this fake cartridge to kind of cover the cartridge slot, but uh, this is part of the Evercade family, so you can get Evercade cartridges and and play these on these pocket devices, which is what really makes it a really great value. Um, if you're interested in buying those cartridges, obviously you can. Uh, play a lot of different games, you know, that's, that are officially licensed and you can support, you know, the developers or, you know, the, the company to, uh, you know, buy more devices, more cartridges to, to encourage them to, to make more. And it does come with a USB-C to a, a charging cable. Um, but uh, powering it on, it's got a nice little click and a little blue LED to let you know that it is on. I imagine if, uh, if the battery was low, it might change colors, you know, so that's something that I'll have to check out later has a cool little splash screen as you're getting into the system and you do have to do some settings before you get started set your language and uh, there's even a little difficulty setting uh, where you get to choose whether or not you want your uh, games to be in like easy mode or normal mode obviously I chose normal mode because I'm not a wuss um, but you have the option of uh, selecting easy and there is this photo sensitive warning which you'll have the option of turning off also in the settings the UI is pretty basic. It's just box art, and it scrolls from left to right, and it's all in alphabetical order. Um, the, you can't uh, do any kind of uh, organization by system, uh, so all the systems are indicated in the lower uh, right-hand corner of the box uh, art or of the game to tell you what the origin is of that game, whether it's Lynx or 5200 or uh, an arcade game. Uh, that's where you'll see that. There are uh, display options which is cool. I don't know if it works on all the games, but they're there, um, and there are uh, th different shader options, too. Uh, it's a pretty small screen, so, uh, you know, I probably wouldn't uh, mess around too much with the uh, scan lines and things like that, but uh, this was a little interesting to me, the, mu the master volume. You have uh, volume buttons in the back of this device, so I would just recommend maxing out your volume on inside or internally, and then just adjusting the volume with the buttons, you know, so... Um, and yeah, it's just me going through, you know, all the different settings, uh, in the main UI also, you can go to, um, uh, Evercade and that's like if you have a cartridge. So if you had a cartridge, you would select that and it would launch, uh, your cartridge. Atari is just your internal, uh, in internal, uh, storage or, you know, your games that are already built in. And, uh, again, like I mentioned before, all of these games are in alphabetical order. And you are able to scroll from uh, left to right. Uh, there's no, uh, you know, I didn't really mess with like the R buttons and the, the buttons in the back to see if it like skips. Uh, like if you can skip ahead. Because there are 50 games, so there's quite a bit of games that you have to kind of go through if you want to get to your favorite. I didn't notice any settings for favorites or anything like that. It does have save states. Uh, saving and loading is possible um, on this. And this is me launching... Uh, uh, an Atari Lynx game, Checkered Flag. So this one, obviously, when I when I launched this game, I really, I, you know, I, it uh, reminded me of my Atari Lynx. I mean, the sounds are, you know, very distinctive to the Atari Lynx. 
Uh, there's no other system that had this uh, sound profile that I can uh, recall. Uh, so it, it just it did bring me back to uh, the Atari Lynx days, you know. And I mean this uh, this system I ordered it long before the Analog Pocket had uh, got its Lynx core. Uh, so had that been out already, I might not have purchased this. Uh, strangely enough, but uh, it's a cool device. I like it. I like the way it looks and everything. Um, but yeah, I mean this is I'm, I'm really excited to try some of these Lynx games that I hadn't played before. Um, and you know, I have a lot of handheld systems. I just don't spend a lot of time playing these older uh, games. Uh, usually it's 16 bit and above, uh, where I kind of spend my time. Um, but it's, it's really neat to, to have a little device that's dedicated and, uh, to, to just to these types of games. So, um, and it looks, it looks the part too. So, uh, if you already, if you didn't get one, I mean, if you like Atari, then obviously get yourself that pocket that's coming out. Uh, I just personally uh, like the way this one looked and that's why I got it. Uh, so I'm kind of messing around with the aspect ratio. Uh, some of these games that I tried, I didn't notice any difference. Um, some of them did. So I don't know if it's 100% across all games uh, where you can actually uh, adjust that setting. Uh, some of these games are so old that I don't even know if it should have background music or not. If it's missing anything, is how's the emulation? Uh, I'll have to kind of go back and, and really do some comparisons. Um, this was weird too. When I started up uh, Berserk, uh, I, I pushed all the buttons and I couldn't fire anything. It wasn't until I went back in. And again, this game is so old and I haven't played it in such a long time. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Uh, maybe I was supposed to get through, you know, the first room without dying and then, you know, I get a gun. I don't know. Uh, but it was just strange that I wasn't able to shoot uh, right from the get-go. Um... But yeah, I mean, this is just a cool little system. I just wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, but uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. But you guys take care.